fires it up. So at least two shots she could spare now after those two open frames. And Tennille Milligan now in the lead by 22 pins. Her last show, the St. Clair Classic. That was in Fairview Heights, Illinois, over a year ago. Max score possible, 247 for Tennille Milligan right now. And high, 369.10. That can be a tough spare to pick up. They're getting ugly. Anytime you have more than one standing, <laughs> it's a little crucial. <laughs> Looked like a pretty good shot. She stood right up and she's checking where the ball hit and where she's sliding. She might have, you know, she might have stuck just a little bit because the approach has got a little tacky, it got real very humid outside, humid inside the ball. How about all of them? Thank you. Great stare. That's for all. She picked up all of them. On television, eight appearances for Tennille. Two titles. 223 career average on TV. That's a pretty high average. She leads by 18 pins right now in the seventh frame. And should she get to that championship match, her match, her championship match win percentage was 100 percent I like those odds. Much better shot by Tennille. She threw it a little bit harder, kept it more on line. She's, we talked about her year in the, in the last couple of years uh, being a humbling experience. Actually, so far this season, her highest finish was 22nd. That's, she, yeah, that's low she, for her. She, she was very, um, very modest about that. She said, I just thought it would, you know, you win. Oh, great. You know, I'm going to win again. And then, you know, one week goes by, two weeks go by, three weeks go by. And now it's one or two years. And she said, I had to reevaluate everything. Mm -hmm. And she's, she's willing to rededicate herself. And she should. She's one of the young talents out here. She's very talented. Johnson trailing by 17. Shauna Spear only one strike this match. And there we go. There's the second one. Not over till it's over. She's saying it's not over till it's over. And she would know with 25 career titles. So look at all the finalists. Car 8, Didi just now approaching 9 after last week. There it is. Good shot. Oh, oh no. On. Jeez. She needed that double to get her back within 10 pins in this match. And on both those shots, she definitely increased her ball speed. Got the ball down the lane. Great shot. Tisha's first shot. Well, she might be out here 24 years or so, but boy, she's still as intense as she was from day one. <laughs> <laughs> she is. She combines that with a little fun while she's on the lanes in terms of television. Does that actually to relax her a lot? back on it now in the eighth frame with a strike. Milligan leading by 17. If she strikes in the ninth, she can take it to 27. And there's the comparison in averages. Caroline qualifying and match play 16 and 40 games right to left. 196 to 201 for the right-handers, 211 to 214 for the left-handers. So a big difference there, obviously, in average. Big difference in the numbers. I think Tennille was going to tell us what she did on that shot, but I didn't quite hear it. She did tell me when I spoke to her, though, before the match started, that when she misses left, she knows it's going higher, Brooklyn. Try to cover two, and she gets both of them on the inside.
Tish Johnson will be moving to Las Vegas. Just bought a home out there. But I guess she's still going to work on houses, Carolyn. She does that in her spare time. Mm -hmm. Fixes up houses, remodels, kind of. Out in California. Mm -hmm. I said, well, that's a little bit of traveling, isn't it? Another good shot. She's standing there waiting for them all to fall. And that should have been three in a row for Tish Johnson. Oh, that was an eye pick. Right now she has uh, 135 in the eighth. She can strike it out for 195. She can force a double out of Milligan if she can strike out here in the 10th. Tish up a little bit, two pins in average this year over last. Come on. She's saying come on, and when she says that at the foul line, you know she threw it good. Things you gotta do to strike. <laughs> Creased her ball speed a little bit. Ball gets down the lane, makes the turn. She finally gets 10. Okay, one more and a good count. Her last title in Pasadena last year. Uh oh, going high. Oh, oh, and almost a big break. She's looking over at the scoreboard, trying to see what that does. Well, she's showing us there what she did. She missed left, turned her hand down a little bit. Ball goes high, almost gets a break, though. Oh. Well, that really doesn't mean a lot. She shoots 183. To Neil Milligan, will need a mark in the 10th frame to advance, a mark and a few pins to advance here, depending on her pin count. Took a lot left on that shot. A seven count, now a three six. She'll need to spare this up. Definitely got it left of her target. Might have thrown it just a little slow. She said that's what she's been doing on her bad shots. So she'll need to spare this, and then she'll need four pins on her fill ball. Needs two. Oh, and gets them on the inside. Yeah. Yeah, it appears that she has hurt something. She was motioning up here to Kendra Gaines, who travels with her, that she has hurt something in the chest area, maybe a rib or something pulled somewhere. Gets the four that she needs, more than four. So it's Neil Milligan advances <laughs> by defeating Tish Johnson, 189 to 183. But first, when we come back, the PWBA athletes talk favorites.